So I can't get in the mind of these people because I, I frankly can't understand why one would want to do this. But they do time and time again. Take Miles McCain, busted once and ready to pay his debt to society. The day he was to report for community service, he couldn't because he was in jail again. He could now face up to a year and a half in jail. This is just tagging and just vandalism. It's just vandalism, pure and simple. And these individuals seem to be taking some pride in doing this and they think it's, I think they think it's making them famous. The real issue here, it falls back on the home or business owner. Macy Meeks works cleanup on campus for a rental company. She says it's a vicious cycle. People that rent for our home and, and want it real nice and then we do the best we can and a couple days later we got the painters and us coming to remove it again. There are neighborhood groups like the Great Western Block Watch that take pride in where they live. Especially when little kids walk by and they see this, they like wonder like, hey, what's that? You know, I want to get involved in that. Paul hopes this opens some eyes that not everyone is out to destroy. Well, especially on the west side here, uh, everybody thinks everybody's affiliated with like a gang or something like that. But me, I, personally, I'm not. So you know, like seeing me clean things like this up hopefully gives us a good name. Bill Hedricks says alleged taggers like Matthew Skaggs, who will spend 30 days behind bars, need to get the message. And others will get the point, even if it's sitting in jail. If you want to issue us the challenge, we'll accept the challenge. If you want to go to jail for a long period of time, we will do that for you. Marcus Thorpe, NBC4.